All right, so here's the quick um, summary. It makes a lot of ice. These ice cubes are nice and small, but they are kind of hard and crunchy. They're not as soft as the ones that you would get at like Sonics and things like that. I mean, you can crunch them. If you put them in your drinks, then they kind of solidify together with the drink. So yeah, if you eat them separately, they're pretty crunchy, but I don't know what they do with the other kind of machines. The other machines are more like um, snow cone that's stuck together. This is more kind of like a not completely frozen ice. So it's a little bit crunchy. Um, so it's easy to set up. Just plug it in and you just pour some water in there. All right. There's a line there. And then you have a thing where when the thing fills up with ice, it'll automatically stop. It has a function to clean it. And then there's a function that tells you when the water's low. It also, you can either fill the water in there or you can use um, an auto fill from the back. You can connect a hose that it comes with the hose, but I don't know how you would attach it to the faucet. You need to get a special like connector for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's nice. It's a lot cheaper than the other ones. I'm assuming the one, the GE one, I think that's like around 500 something. Um, the ice cubes probably come out better. But for the price difference, um, this is about 300 or so. Um, yeah, I don't think I would spend $500 for ice cubes, but this is pretty nice. Um, the inside isn't um, the inside isn't a freezer, so keep that in mind. You do have to empty this out into a container. I just use a freezer Ziploc bag, and then I put these all in my freezer so I can have a bunch of ice cubes. It makes the ice cubes relatively quickly. Um, if you let this run for a while, um, I don't know how long it took to make these ice cubes, probably anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes to make this, oop, this whole amount. How did that ice cube fly out? But anyways, yep, on to the entire unboxing and review. All right, so I just ordered a nugget ice maker on Amazon. This thing is heavy, so I didn't expect it to be this big or this heavy. So the box weighs close to 40 pounds. If you want to see how big this box is, this is over 20 inches, oops, sorry, over 20 inches wide, all right, over a foot, 13 inches thick, and about 20 inches tall, all right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. So I got some scissors. And when I bought it, it, it had a coupon. So it was $369.99. And then it had a $60 coupon. And then after tax, I think it was about $330 something. So yeah, California tax. All right, let's go ahead and cut this open completely. I might not be able to use it today because uh, most compressor related like refrigerators, air conditioners and things like that. You want to leave it sitting upright for like a day or two after it's been shipped. Whoa, okay, so it comes a box in a box. I'm probably going to have to put the camera down to take this thing out. I don't think I can lift this out. So here you can see, it tells you to cut the straps and then lift off the box top. I don't know what that means. Is this a separate piece? No. Okay, and then lift up the ice maker. So I don't know why it tells you to do it that way. I guess you have to take this thing out first. So I'm gonna get my hands in there and see if I can lift this out by myself. Yeah, I don't think I can do this with one hand. <sighs> nope. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So here's the box. Got this ice maker by Tro, what is that? Tautronics. Okay, looks like that on the box. All right, so I'm gonna take these plastic strips off and I'll be back. So I don't know if you saw the video where I did the um, open the generator box, but anyways, I like to rotate these to where I can grab the back of these straps. And then you can grab that and you can pull that and then you can break those straps off very easily. It's so like this, this side you can't do it, rotate it. This side usually has a little um, bit that you can pull out. All right, so we're gonna turn that, grab that strap, pull it, there we go. And once you pull it past the other one, you can go ahead and pull this out. So there we go. 
going to pull these straps out. If you want, you can use these straps for something, but there we go. So now what it says, after you get the straps off, you can just lift the box up. So let's zoom out completely here. Sorry, I know it's a bad viewing angle, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lift this, oops. Lift this off. All right, there we go. Let's see what we got here. So we got the power cable here. And we got the manual here. All right, I'm gonna go through this. Well, I guess I'll go through it so you guys can see. All right, so here you go, Tautronics Ice Maker. Right, here you go, safety instructions, before using it, all of that. You can automatically add water. So this one's nice, you can actually connect it to a hose and it can automatically add water. Um, I don't know what this uh, warranty, to do your warranty extension. So then you get 18 months warranty instead of one year. 60 days of free return shipping and customer support. That's cool. All right, so here you go. So here it says, do not touch or hold the mains plug when your hands are wet. Do not put the thing in water. Don't tip it over, okay? Okay, so it says you have to allow two hours for the refrigerant fluid to settle. I thought it was a day or two but only two hours. Um, I forgot when they delivered this, but I might be able to do it right away because it's been sitting up since it was delivered and I was working on a bunch of stuff. All right, so here you go. You can read through it on your own. I'm just gonna um, just show it in the video real quick and then, oops, should I turn this off? No, that's worse. Okay, I'm gonna show this real quick and then I'm gonna read through for any important stuff and then I'll explain it later just in case someone wants to see what's in the manual. Okay, you're welcome to fast forward till I get to the last page. I just wanna make sure this is uh, easy for people to read if they wanna read it. Hopefully you guys can read that, it's getting clear. Wait, there's nothing in the troubleshooting or is there pages I didn't see? There's no troubleshooting, okay. Well. All right, I think that's it. So again, I'm gonna read over this whole thing and then I'll tell you anything that's important. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so when setting it up, first thing you wanna remove all the exterior and interior packaging. Make sure you have all the parts inside. You wanna clean the interior basket and ice scoop with lukewarm water and a soft cloth. And then you wanna leave it upright on a flat level surface away from direct sunlight and heat sources. And you wanna give it two hours um, for the refrigerant to settle. So inside there's a compressor and there's a liquid that flows to uh, make the freezer work. Um, and you wanna leave it sitting upright for two hours before plugging it in, otherwise you can damage the compressor. All right. Okay, so here are the buttons. There's an ice full light, so when the basket's full, it will light up. There's the on off switch, so to turn it on and off. And then there's the clean switch, so when you press, you have to press and hold that switch. So here it tells you, okay? You have to press and hold it for three seconds to start or stop the cleaning method uh, mode. And then there's two, the add water light. So when it's low on water, it will light up. Okay, so to set it up, make sure that the drain pipe plugs are firmly inserted so it doesn't leak everywhere. All right, and then you can pour water into the max fill line. Don't go over the max fill line. Make sure it's plugged into a grounded wall socket, then you can turn it on. And then once you're ready, you can remove the ice from the basket with the scoop. Um, this thing isn't a freezer, so you can't leave the ice in here. If you leave the ice in it, it's just going to melt. So keep that in mind. You do have to take the ice out. Um, if you want, you can get a freezer as a block bag and store it all in there. If you're going to make a bunch of ice and store it for later. Okay, and then important as well, you want to leave six inches of space around the entire machine. So that way the air can ventilate around it. Otherwise it can overheat and get damaged. 
So here you can see where it says it's not a freezer to put the ice in use or freeze it once it's made. Okay, and then it's recommended every 24 hours to change the water out just so no mold or whatever grows inside. All right, and then if you're going to use the tube system, here's the instructions. I'm not going to go over that because I'm not going to do it, but um, there you go. All right, I'm going to lift the thing out of here now. So let's go ahead and zoom out a bit so you can see. Okay, let's zoom out and zoom out. There we go. All right, so we're going to lift the machine out of the box. So it's in these foam things. All right, we're going to lift this up. Squeeze both sides. Oh, how can I do it? You have to like tilt it up or something Okay, so I'm gonna tilt it forward this way And then I'm gonna grab underneath Oh god, there we go. Again, this thing's pretty heavy. It's close to 40 pounds Okay, let's get this cardboard out of the way And then we're gonna get the styrofoam out of here Both sides, there we go Let's unwrap this thing. Okay, how do we unwrap this? So this cable has some stuff all around it. They put some tape on the thing back here, so I don't know. We're gonna have to find how to unravel this tape here. I mean, you guys can figure that out. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and lift this bag off. So I'm gonna tilt it over a little bit to the side and then lift that side of the bag out. Tilt it the other way and lift the other side of the bag out. There you go. Put all this packaging away. There's so much packaging on this thing. All right, so we got this piece. Gonna have to tilt it over again. And get this stuff out. All right, tilt it the other way. Get that stuff out. So much packaging. All right, we got this tape stuff here, which is gonna be somewhat of a pain to remove. Okay, we got these hose plug thingies back here. Let's zoom in a bit. Here you go. I don't know how I'm gonna get this stuff out. I hate when they don't put like little release tabs. You see like here, you, it's really hard to peel these up. So I'm gonna have to like, I guess it's not too bad. Okay, there we go. What they should do is they should fold over half of it like that. So when it's like this, then you have a little release tab. All right, it's leaving some sticky residue there. Okay, let's go ahead and get this tape off. Sorry, it's hard to film this. All right, so here you can see, I don't know why they block this thing. Ice maker, it has the model number. So this uses about 360 watts. This tells you the refrigerant, the presser, pressure and everything, household use only. Risk of fire and explosion, huh? Okay, so they have these little uh, plugs. Make sure that you have that sealed. So basically what this does is it allows the water to kind of like circulate up here and then go back into there. So wherever, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, here's the intake hose, I guess. Okay. So let's turn this around, right? I'll be back. Okay, so here they include... Okay, the lid stays up. They include the hose for if you're gonna uh, hook it up to an external outlet. I've got the little scooper here. I don't see a thing where um, I can attach it to my faucet, so I don't know. But let's take this tape out. Yeah, let's take this tape out. Okay, we're gonna have to clean this with warm water. And then we're going to do uh, test of how much so here you can see there's the max fill line so it's kind of nice as the ice melts it'll just keep cycling back by itself and it'll keep putting new ice in there so technically you can leave it in there I guess and it'll just keep remelting and remaking ice on its own but uh yeah I, I probably wouldn't do that for more efficiency um, just put them in your freezer when it's ready all right so I'm gonna clean this stuff out and I'll see you guys in a bit all right so I filled the water to the max fill line now we're gonna just put this basket in here all right we'll leave the scooper I don't know they need a place to leave the scooper I'll just put it there for now I guess all right we'll close this let's turn this on and now it's sucking up the water let's go ahead and 
actually lift the basket out and see how much water it's taking. So it should be sucking the water up and this water level should slowly be going down. And it is very, very slowly. Okay, and I forgot how long it said it takes to make a few cubes. I think it's like less than 20 minutes or something. So yeah, there's some models that make the ice a lot faster and have more storage. Um, but I didn't feel like paying an extra $60 or more just for that. I'll just put the ice in a container and freeze it when I'm done. So here you see the water levels dropping pretty quick. So maybe I should put some more water in there actually. Let's actually pour more water in there. Back up to the max fill line. All right. Oh, it's peeing. Why is it peeing? <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that... I wonder if I should run the clean cycle once. I didn't say to, so... We'll just let this go and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna get more water. I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but whatever. I'm kind of curious what would happen if you leave the basket out and it just keeps making ice in there to, to make the water colder, but... Okay, let's get it to the max fill. Alright, so we're gonna let this sit. Okay, so I put the basket back in. Here you can see it's just peeing in there. But, um, yeah. Alright, I'll be back when we have some ice cubes and I'll show you how they go. Alright, see you guys later. Alright, so it's been about five minutes. The thing stopped peeing everywhere, so I hear now it's making louder noise. I'm guessing that's the condenser on instead of the pump. So basically it's running like a freezer thing. So that's how freezers work. It has a condenser where it just keeps like um, compressing a fluid or a gas or something. And then it blows all the hot air and stuff out of here and then the inside gets colder and colder so all right so we're just going to give it a bit longer and we'll see when we get some ice cubes all right so it's been again about five minutes all right i'll see you guys later all right so it's been about 16 minutes i was hearing some noises so it's making some crumbs in here um according to the amazon listing it takes about 18 minutes or so for it to start making some good decent ice but we'll give it a bit longer than that. Oh, it's making some crumbs here. Maybe I'm gonna just dump that back in the water. But yeah, all right, we'll see you guys when it's making more uh, better ice. See you guys in a bit. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes now, um, and I was looking at the bottom of the basket and I realized it had these weird shapes. So I figured out that's actually for this scoop. So that's where you put the scoop. I was thinking that was a stupid design, um, but now they have a good place to put it. I was like, well, they have the hole here to hang it on something, but now I found out. So if you can get a second scooper, I don't know why they make two slots like that if you only have one scooper, I guess just to make it look symmetrical. But anyways, it's been about 20 minutes or so and we're getting some nugget ice in there. So we're gonna give it, um, we'll be back in probably like five, 10 minutes to see how much ice we have. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, somehow the water filled up too high and then all the ice was just floating in water, so I had to scoop out some water. Anyways, here's the ice being made now. But yeah, for some reason, even though, like I guess because I filled up more water after the ice was already being made, it eventually like filled back up and it was too high. So here you can see the ice being made. All right. It almost sounds like a um, wash dishwashing machine, somewhat. So it, it is somewhat loud, but yeah, look, that's pretty cool. You can see all the ice coming out there. <laughs> the ice is like growing up those tubes. So it has that metal thing at the angle that it pushes all the ice out around it. Some ice is like stuck. Somehow the ice got on top of it. I don't know how that happened. I guess the ones in the back can't go around, so it goes over the top. But you can see how it, it like just bends the ice to snap it off. And then the ice falls into the bucket. That's cool. So it's 
hopefully this machine will last for a long time. I don't know how much force it takes to bend those ice rods like that, but yeah. Alright, we'll give it a bit and then we'll see when we have a bunch more ice. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes since I dumped out and emptied all that watery ice and we have about this much ice. So let's keep it up. That's probably enough for my drink. The ice kind of gets in the way of the scooper holder, so it's a little bit tough to put that back in, except when it's empty. All right, so let's fill it up. This is already cold Capri Sun. the whole pouch and here's the cup all right so let's give it a taste I'll be back or I guess you can stare at this nice and edible it's not as um, soft and crunchy and nuggety as um, the ice that you get at the fast food joints but it's Definitely much easier to crunch on than regular ice cubes. So, <clears throat> it's kind of a cross between the actual nugget ice and, and regular ice. Still somewhat hard, but at least it's a lot more crunchable. Like, you don't feel like you're breaking your teeth chewing this. Alright, so that's my review. Makes ice pretty quick once it gets going. Um, again, I'm going to leave this pumping out the ice and then I'm going to get a freezer ziplock bag and fill it up so that way I have lots of ice ready to go and I don't have to leave the machine running non-stop. Alright, that's the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will buy one of these too. I'll put a link in the description below from an Amazon affiliate link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Okay, so one thing, I saw someone actually write a review about this. Um, but when the ice is full, um, it doesn't know to start making more ice if you leave it uh, closed. So here you can see it's not full anymore. But all these ice cubes started melting. Um, but once I open and close this, then it starts going again. But uh, I don't want it to be doing that now because it's going to start making water go into all this ice. But anyways, yeah. All right, that's it. See you guys later. One last thing. So I'm storing them in the Ziploc bag. If you do this, you want to make sure every few minutes to um, move the ice around because at first when you put them in the bag, they'll still be kind of wet. And if you leave it like that, it's going to just freeze into like a big giant clump of frozen uh, ice cubes. So then you can like smash it on the ground like the ice bags that you buy in the store. but. Um, yeah, to keep them from clumping together, you want to move it around every so often for the first uh, few minutes. That way it can freeze as uh, separate ice cubes. Alright, hopefully this video helps you guys. I'll see you all later. Bye.